In this lesson, we're going to review the midpoints on a triangle. So we have triangle ABC, and uh, obviously each of these is a line segment, AB, BC, and AC. So if they're line segments, we can find the midpoints of these line segments. So let's find a midpoint of uh, line segment BC, and we'll call it X. Let's find the midpoint of line segment AC, and we'll call it Y. And we'll also find the midpoint of line segment AB, and we'll call this Z. Well, if we were to connect the midpoints, we can see that we have another triangle. Let's go over what these midpoints do. When we draw a point X here on line segment BC, we end up with a new line segment, BX, and a line segment, XC. Both of those are congruent to each other. So we have that BX and XC are congruent. Okay, now let's look at uh, point Y. We add point Y to line segment AC, we end up with two small line segments. And we have line segment AY, and we have line segment YC. And both of these are congruent as well. So we have AY is congruent to YC. And now let's take a look at line segment AB. When we add midpoint Z, we end up with this new line segment AZ being congruent to line segment ZB. Okay, now let's look at this new triangle that we drew. Triangle XYZ. Okay, something you should notice is that this line segment, ZX, is parallel to AY. So let's note them as being parallel. Okay, also, line segment AZ is parallel to YX. So let's note those as being parallel. Okay, and lastly, line segment ZY is parallel to line segment BX. So we can write that those are parallel also. So something very interesting happened here. Not only do we have this triangle XYZ, but we also have uh, some parallelograms. This line segment is parallel to this line segment and this line segment is parallel to this line segment. So we have a parallelogram AZXY. And based on what we know about parallelograms, we know that opposite sides are parallel, then also opposite sides are congruent. So we have pairs of congruent sides here as well. So that means line segment AY and line segment ZX are congruent. So let's mark this as being congruent to that. And likewise, line segment AZ is congruent to line segment YX. So we'll mark those as being congruent. Then we also have parallelogram B, X, Y, 
z because opposite sides are parallel this must be a parallelogram and again we know that parallelograms have opposite sides that are congruent so bx and zy are congruent and we already have that bz and xy are congruent just to point out we also have parallelogram zxcy so we know that since opposite sides are parallel opposite sides are also congruent so cy is congruent to zx which we have and zy is congruent to xc which we already have so we have a lot of information here when we draw these midpoints we have that line segment xz is parallel to this entire base line segment AC. Also we have that line segment XY parallel to this entire side of the triangle AB. And also line segment YZ is parallel to this whole side over here BC. Okay, we also showed that certain line segments are congruent. But besides these being congruent, what that also means is that a line segment such as XY, because it's congruent to AZ and also congruent to ZB, that means that this line segment XY is half of this whole side AZ. So we have XY is half of AB. And likewise, YZ is half of this side, BC. And X, um, XZ this side, or this segment, is half of the base of the triangle AC. So if each side of this small triangle is half of a side of the larger triangle, that means that the perimeter of triangle XYZ is one half the perimeter of triangle ABC. Perimeter is just the sum of the sides, so if each side of the small triangle is half of a side of the large triangle, then that means the perimeter of the small triangle is also half of the large triangle.